Hello everyone out there in YouTube land and welcome back to my channel. I know I have no makeup on and I'm in my comfortable attire as usual because if I wait to get myself glamorized I will never do any videos. So today I have an unboxing for you. Um, I finally gave in and bought a centerpiece from Yankee Candle and why did I do that? Well, uh, first of all the, the, the price was good. It was like $34.99 plus I got three milk cups. So, um, 35, 40, $50. And then I had a coupon. Well, there was a coupon for $15 off of 45, right? Was that it? $15 off of 45. And then I had another coupon, uh, from the Yankee fan club rewards or whatever for $5 off. Um, but then you have to add the tax and the shipping. So I, I forget how much it came out to, but I think it was, it was under 50 bucks for everything. So why did I decide to get the centerpiece? I don't like electric wax warmers. Um, I don't really use the one that I have. This one is the one that I have. I have an owl one that I haven't started using yet, but this is the one that I had originally bought from Yankee Candle. It's super cheap. It's still online. It's called like the Vines one. You know, it's, it's nice. But there are a couple of reasons why I don't like this. First of all, the cord is really short. And um, that's, you know, I know I could get an extension cord, but I'm lazy. So the cord's really short, so you have, a, you have to plug it in close to an outlet, which is inconvenient. And then there's always the chance that you're going to knock it over because of the short cord. The other thing is, um, see how the, the tray sits on top of this? You could very easily, if you're a klutz like I am, just knock the, the thing over. I still have wax in here. I don't even know what has no scent. But anyway, yeah, so I don't like that. I don't like that the, the wax sits on top of the base like this and it, it's not, uh, what do you call it? The word will come to me. It's not deep into the, the vessel. It's just sitting on top like that so it's easy to tip over. That word is going to bother me. Recessed. It's not recessed. It's not inside. So, yeah, for that... For the reason that the cord is too short, and also because I'm always afraid I'm going to forget to shut it off, um, I don't like using that. I prefer the candlelight, uh, candlelight, the tea light candle wax warmers, um, because you put a tea light under there. When the tea light, you know, is done, it burns itself out, and that's it. You don't have to worry about it. There's no cords. There's nothing to knock over. It's much easier that way. And I have been enjoying um, melting wax in my Tarte tea light warmers uh, a lot more recently. I've been getting into it again with the, the nice scents that have been coming out from Sensationals, uh, the wax cube uh, company thing that they carry at Walmart. So this uh, centerpiece that I got is got a couple of good qualities to it. First of all, the wax is recessed, it, like it sits inside the base supposedly. It's supposed to have a six foot cord and it has a timer uh, so it shuts itself off. So let's see what's going on with that. So here's the box. Live life scentfully. It's kind of, it's not really heavy but uh, and then on the other side it says Yankee Candle. So I got my trusty scissor here, my handy dandy scissor, and I'm gonna see what's in here. So I got, like I said, with this, I ordered three milk cups. The selection on the milk cups was very poor because they were trying to, to sell this one centerpiece that I thought was hideously ugly. Uh, it was an Easter centerpiece. It kind of looked like, I don't know, it was, it was like bowl shaped and then got tapered as it went down. I, I, I thought it was, really ugly and if you had bought that they give you free a free melt cup with it or something like that and then they also had centerpiece sets where if you bought a particular centerpiece it came with three um melt cups so i i got what they had left that i thought would be okay so let's see here they give you a little thing here on candle care so uh, it came out to total, like I told you about the breakdown of it. It doesn't even have a total on here. That's just weird. Why wouldn't it have a total? But it doesn't. Okay. 
So figuring out again, 35, 50, $15 off, so 35, $5 off for the candle club, 30, then $6 for the shipping, so 36, 37, 33, 39 with the tax, figure like 40 bucks. And there's paper, and paper. Okay, so here's the, okay. Here's the centerpiece. Comes in a box like this. And it's weird. Air. It says, look, they they obviously they the Yankee Candle doesn't make this in Deerfield, Massachusetts, where they are, because it says it was it was shipped to them, because there's a shipping label. It says to Yankee Candle Co. from I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, I'm sorry to my my Chinese fans. Uh Zhang Shen. CTR household technology in Zhang, Zhangchen, Guangdong, China. So that's where it came from. That's where it was made. It's made in China. So let's open it up, shall we? And this one is it's a, a black and white one, and it's called the it's the Chloe. The edition is the Chloe, and it's got the the LED lights and the the timer. So it's, they consider it a deluxe, deluxe easy melt cup warmer. And there it is. It's kind of shaped like a waste paper basket, but I like it. I like the black and white. It goes with my decor because in my bedroom it's um, black, white, hot pink, and some purple. So um, yeah, this is, I thought this was really pretty and feminine looking and it has, you can't see it there, but there's a, like, well, you can't see it. There's the holes where the LED lights would come from. So, what do I do with my scissor? Let's open this up and see what's going on in here, shall we? So, how have you guys been? Hope you guys have been okay. I know I've been out of the loop for a while. You know, haven't been recording vlogs. I think I'm going to just record a vlog today that's going to be an update of what I've been doing. Um, so, this is what the inside looks like when you open it. It's got this thing and then you have the centerpiece so here we go um, okay so here's the centerpiece there it is um, there's what the inside looks like you put the melt cup in here. See, it's recessed, so you don't have to worry about. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock the plate off of it, and the wax is gonna go flying. I've also had a problem with a candle crock that looked like this, and you put the whole candle in it, and I knocked that thing over because the cord was too short. So with me, you know, being a klutz, it's possible it will still happen, but let's hope not. So that's the inside. This is the outside, and in here is where the melt cup will go, and I will show you the melt cups that I purchased. Here's the cord. Uh, it's tied here with some, uh, what do you call this? A twisty tie. So let's see. It's supposed to be a six. I'm going to break this thing. It's, it's supposed to be a six foot cord. Okay. So does that look, does that look like six feet? I suppose, I suppose that looks like six feet. Um, and then here is the timer thing right there. Now, I can't really see if it says what it says. It says three hours, six hours, eight hours. I'm thinking that's what it says. It's almost impossible to read on there. You can't read what it says. Um, maybe when it lights up. So I'm assuming it says three hours, six hours, eight hours. I'm, I'm going to try again to read this. No, it's, yeah, that's either, no, nine hours, three hours, six hours, or nine hours. And so this is the power button with the, the timer. So you set it for your time. And then after that, it's supposed to shut off. So that is the Chloe. I'm liking it. I think it's nice. It's very cool. 
All right, so let's get to the melt cups that I got, shall we? And you really don't need to buy a lot of milk cups, and I don't know if Yankee Candle thought this through. Um, the milk cups are $4.99, which they're pretty expensive, you know. Um, but after you finish using the wax, people, you know, after the wax loses its scent, you just pop it out of the little plastic cup and you put in whatever wax you want. You can put in Sensational's wax, you can put in, you know, a, a different Yankee tart, you could take a votive and cut it in half. It's, Put it that in there so you don't need to continuously buy melt cups all you need to do is just buy a few and then you could just reuse the cups over and over again so three melt cups like i said these would not have been my first choices but this is what they had left that i thought might be interesting the one that i'm most interested to smell which a lot of people rave about is november rain so this is what the melt cup looks like Let's see what it smells like. It smells like soap. It smells like a bar of Dove soap or Dial soap. That's exactly what it smells like. Straight up soap. So we'll see how that is. I hope it's not too astringent. It smells a little on the astringent side. The next one that I got, and these are kind of all in the fresh category because like I said, that's what they had left. Um, I don't like how they put the stickers on here. The stickers are like all crooked and peeling up. Um, so this is one of their newer scents. This is Line Dried Cotton. And it's this pretty peach pinky wax. This smells like Bath and Body Works Sea Island Cotton. It's nice. I don't know if it's going to be a strong thrower though. So we'll have to see about that. Sort of like a Fresh cotton, Sea Island cotton, linen y, uh, kind of. I went a little bit like fluffy towels. Wow, I can't even get the thing back on here. Okay. And then on the side it says Yankee Candle. I don't know if you can see that. It's written on there. And then the third one, it's probably going to smell the same, very similar, is Meadow Showers. This is a nice green wax. It's okay kind of doesn't really have too much of a smell it's uh like fabric softener with a little bit of a green grassy note in there so all of these scents pretty similar november rain definitely smells the strongest followed by the line dried cotton and then the meadow shower so i'm going to show you i know you guys already know how this works but i'm going to show you anyway so there's the centerpiece here's your Melt cup, drop it in there like that, and you can't see it like, you don't have to worry about tipping it over, I hope. So it, it sits right in the base like that, and then you can change out scents. So let's say you melted this for six hours, and then, you know, the next day you want to change it out. You don't have to pop out a disc or anything, you just switch the cups and then when all the cups run out of fragrance then you refill them with other wax melts that you may have so um i want to plug this in to see how it looks when it's lit so um give me one second all right so this is what it looks like when it's plugged in the lights are not very strong they don't come up through the top really you could just a little bit see them at the bottom in comparison the bottom is lit up there I guess that's good so that it works as kind of like a night light I mean I don't want it to be blindingly uh, lit up this would be a better demonstration if I actually did this in the evening but um, there you go okay guys so that is my unboxing of my centerpiece and my melt cups I hope you guys enjoyed it there's Malcolm walking back there. Um, I'm going to, uh, I would say probably if I get around to it, do a review. And he's hacking back there. I will do a review of the centerpiece and how it functions and how the melt cups do after I start using it, which I'm excited to do. So, you guys have a centerpiece out there. Let me know what you think. If you just picked up one recently at the sale, you know, what kind of melt cups did you end up with? Because like I said... Not too much of a selection. Okay, so that's it for now. In the meantime, uh, 
Come here, Malcolm. Oh, I wanted to show you guys him. Can you see him? Look, there he is. Malcolm, what do you think of the centerpiece? Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.